Hey, what's up coders? Welcome back to my channel. I have Jorge today, who's a senior software engineer and a community co organizer for Chicago Flutter. Hi Jorge, thanks for being on my channel. Hi Kamal, thanks to you. I'm really, really excited to be here. Would you like to share a bit about yourself? Yes, so um, I live in Chicago, uh, but I'm from Spain. I moved to Chicago in 2011 and like I was starting there and thanks to the community, I found my first job. So that's what uh, actually inspired me to be part of the community because I see the value uh, that brings to it. Like it helps people grow, it helps people to improve their skills and feel that they belong to um, a bigger group, right? So I think that's very, very important. Um, since 2016, I work uh, for BMW. Uh, I'm leading the part of the mobile efforts with an amazing team that is also here at Google I.O. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what we do. What motivated you to start the Flutter community in Chicago? That's a really, really good question. So um, I've always been involved within the Android community, and there's really good groups. Uh, in Chicago, we have Android Listener. Uh, there's GDG Chicago, also that they sometimes cover like Android groups or even like the Java uh, group of Chicago or even Kotlin. But there was nothing specific to Flutter. So at that point, uh, knowing how important the community has been for my own experience, it was an opportunity that I had in there that I was like, hey, I can actually get to do my own thing, start my own group, and try to gather people around Flutter. So that's my ultimate goal, is like people, they feel welcoming, uh, and Flutter is what helping us to make that happen. If you were to go back to learning Flutter again, what would you do differently? <laughs> that's a very good question. Um, this is not the first framework that I learned. Um, I think I've done many, many languages and many, many frameworks, but there's always something that it's kind of like gets on your way and you're trying to do things different, like in a way that you tried to do before, right? So for me, coming from an Android background, I was like, oh my God, when I compare that to Kotlin, what are my core routines and what are my like optional classes and sealed classes? And then I realized like, you know what? Like Dart has its own special features and it's a language that it's involving uh, Flutter as well, right? Like back like a year ago, it was on a stable and performance as it is today. So I think just uh, having patience, sit down, calm down, understand the technology, and then you can evaluate. I think that's the best way approach to uh, to kind of like try to experience these technologies. Your thoughts on state management? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll give you the short answer and the long answer. Uh, the short answer is, Try to explore and test solutions by yourself and whatever you feel more comfortable with or your team, like if you're working on a team, make an informed decision and go with it. It is true that it is expensive to change a solution once you have invested time, but you can always undo it and try something else. Now the long answer. Uh, at BMW, uh, my teammate Felix put this interpretation of block that we call Flutter block um, that is helping us uh, at BMW for a very specific purpose of being more uh, predictable in code so or our features or our different widgets they look and feel the same way and they feel like they were written by a single developer regardless of how big the team or teams are right so in that case this interpretation that we have open source under Felix's name um, it's helping us to grow to test to uh, actually do a lot of automation on top of it because then you can capture analytics events whatever you think of, uh, you can do with this package. So personally, my own experience says that Flutter Block works really, really well for like big teams. But again, like that's also because I'm biased. I use it every day and we love it. But like any other solution, if you feel comfortable with, it's going to help you. So just try it by yourself. That would be my advice. What can your audience expect from the book, Dot to in Action? Um, well, I hope that they can see all the energy and love that I'm putting into this book. Um, I hope that it's a resource, a material that helps developers that they don't have experience with that to introduce themselves in a language that has a lot of features, but at the same time feels very natural and feels very familiar. And for those developers that they've been using Dart already, I hope that it can help to be a reference when they need to understand maybe like a more complex topic or things like code generation or like asynchronous and futures and streams, right? Like I'm trying to be that reference with that book. So I hope that it can help both entry levels and uh, 
mature developers to use it as a reference. And when can we expect this book? <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. Um, we have, as part of this release process at Manning, there's something called Early Access Preview. So once I have like the first set of five chapters, it will be released and then every chapter that I finish it will be published in there. So now it's up to the editorial to decide when it's the better marketing date or they need to prepare the material. So hopefully soon, but I don't have a concrete date. Your top three do's and don't for a developer who's starting with Flutter. Okay, my top three of do's is like testing. My second one is testing. The third one is, no, that's not true, but like testing definitely is the top one. I would say the second one is uh, try to be uh, purposeful about the way you design your widgets and your business logic. Uh, uh, that was something that was covered today in the state management talk at Google I.O., right? It's like, don't put your business logic in a way that you cannot test it. Uh, and I would say the third part is integration testing. <laughs> Uh, testing for me is very, very important. So unit testing and widget testing should help you to get like uh, security when you're coding. But integration testing is super cool, right? Like you get to automate all your habits or all like kind of like nuances of your application. And at the same time, like measure performance. So use it is like you get it for free with the SDK as opposed to like Android developers, we have to use Espresso and JUnit and Robolent. No, it's part of Flutter, use it. I'm sure that is a great advice, Jorge. <laughs> Thanks, Jorge. Thanks for being on my channel. And I'm going to add all your uh, for Twitter, GitHub. And I'm sure definitely uh, my subscribers can follow you. Uh, and they're looking forward for your book. And I'm looking forward for your book <laughs> as well. And thanks for being on my channel. Thank you.